Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is finding the line of regression. Here's the equation. You have predicted y equals a plus bx, where a is your y-intercept and b is your slope. Now to find a, here's the formula. The summation of y times the summation of x squared, parentheses, minus the summation of x times the summation of x times y over n summation of x squared minus the summation of x parentheses squared. Now to find the slope, you have b equals n summation of xy minus the summation of x times the summation of y all over n summation of x squared parentheses summation of x parentheses squared. Now I'm going to erase this because we're going to need room to put different columns. But notice what we need. I'll just write this down here. Notice what we need. We need the summation of y's. This is the summation of all the x squares and the summation of x, and then summation of xy's. Notice we don't need any y squares. We do need x squares, and we do need x times y. Now n stands for the number of points or the number in the sample. Remember, when you're doing a uh, when you're doing linear regression, you have two variables. One is your input and then you have your output. Your uh, independent and your dependent variable. So we need y's, we need x, we need xy's, and we need uh, x squares. And we need to take the summation of all of those. All right. Let's uh, let's do the columns first, and then we'll do the the summations. So this one is x times y. So you have one times two, which is two. Two times four, which is eight. Three times eight which is 18. And then you have all your x squares. Uh, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. And then you would add each column because each column, right, this column right here represents the summation of x's. Right, so the summation of the x's would be 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. This would be the summation of y's. So that's 2 plus 4 plus 6, which is 12. Then you have the summation of x, y, 2 plus 8 plus 18, which would be 28. And then you have 1 plus 4 plus 9, which is 14. Let me kind of write those all on the side. You have the summation of x equals 6. The summation of y equals 12. The summation of xy equals 28. And then you have the summation of x squared equals 
14. Then what you do next is you take your formulas and you just plug them all in. So might need more room. All right, so plug everything in summation of y, that would be 12, times the summation of x squared, summation of x squared would be 14, minus the summation of x would be 6, the summation of x times y would be 28 over, then you have your n, your n here since you have three points, it's going to be three. It's the subjects in the sample. So then you have the summation of x squared, x squared is 14, minus the summation of x squared, so that's 6 squared. Now the other formula is n summation of xy minus the summation of x times the summation of y over summation n times the summation of x squared minus the summation of x parentheses squared. So I'm just going to plug everything in. And I'm going to do this all at once so that I can just plug each of them on the calculator at a single time. And I'll give you tips on how to plug these into your calculator. So your n is 3, so it's Remember, b is your slope. Uh, summation of x, y is 28, minus the summation of x, which is 6, times the summation of y, which is 12. Notice that this times this is not the same as the summation of x times y. Pre uh, fraction bar, you have 3, summation of x squared, summation of x squared is 14, minus summation of x squared, which is 6 squared. Alright, when you do plug these into your calculator, use parentheses around the numerators and the denominators because the, the fraction bar actually works like a grouping symbol so it separates the top from the from the bottom so just uh, just keep that in mind when you're plugging it in and I picked a relatively easy example so these numbers should be rather nice so to speak. Somewhat nice. 6 times 28, close parentheses, divided by, typing in A first, parentheses, 3 times 14 minus 6 squared, close parentheses. That gives me 0 for my y intercept. Clear. And when we look at the look at the uh, slope. So parentheses three times twenty eight minus six times twelve. Close parentheses for the numerator. Divided by it's the fraction bar. Open parentheses three times fourteen minus six squared, close parentheses, equals 2. So, my regression line, I have my predicted y, my slope is 2, well actually the, you know, you have a plus bx, so right here, so it's easier to see, so 
predicted y equals my y-intercept is two is zero and my slope is two. So zero plus two x uh, simplify when possible two x. And when you check this, when you check the, the points, all of them are going to fall on the line. Uh, I think the, yeah, you have 2x. All of them are going to fall on the line. Now, that's not necessarily guaranteed um, when you do this. They're not always going to fall on the line. It's the predicted y. It's not the actual y. Uh, but for this example, uh, I chose all points that fall on the line. So, and that's it.